To quote the great Anderson Pack, Joe Jazz first place, everybody else gets second. It's your boy, Two Hat Man, Joe Jazz, and you're watching on the polls. Hey guys, Reese Sutter here, back to Raven Skull TV, your source for all things music, people, and culture. And this is On The Pulse, our picks for hidden gems and underrated marvels in arts and entertainment. We keep our eyes open so you don't have to. This time we're on the pulse of a dear friend of the show and one of the next big things in alternative hip hop. Fans of Tyler the Creator, Brock Hampton, and Earl Sweatshirt, stay tuned, you are going to like this one. So what happens when a cartoon character decides to take on the rap game? Well, you get Joe Jazz a rapper, producer, and clothing designer that is making waves in the scene right now and has just won the Vans Musician Wanted Europe competition judged by the great and legendary Anderson Pack. What a huge honor this must be for him. <laughs> Joe Jazz and then all the rest of everyone else got second place. Joe is a one-stop shop for creating cool shit. He raps, writes, produces, makes his own music videos, makes his own merch. So whenever you see anything come out from this guy, you can be sure that it's dripping in that funky, wacky Joe Jazz style. A style that's super infectious and keeps us coming back for more. Joe's music is weird, it's wacky, but all in all, it's incredibly fun to listen to, and you get to experience his full personality through it, which is great. Free travel, man, where the bad granny's at? This ain't the shit that you want. Bitch, it's the shit that you need. His most recent drop was Four Wing Island, an album that dropped August 29, 2020. It features nine tracks that leave us wanting nothing but more. His music style is grungy, it's funky, and it's satirical. It's like Zach Fox meets early Tyler the Creator, but mixed with Brock Hampton's production style. His beats are super diverse, some sound like they were made on a preschool xylophone but in the best way, and then others sound like it's a rock and roll or heavy distorted piano which is also super fun. His music is often really melodic, feeling incredibly nostalgic as he often talks about his early childhood, which was a lot like ours, playing with Pokemon, riding around on little tykes, what can you not relate to? But he then matures his sound into an aggressive, edgy, rebellious blend, often rapping about skateboarding, playing underground shows, and running around causing various forms of trouble with his homies in London City. This stuff equals a cocktail of styles for anyone in their late teens to early to mid 20s. It just gets you. Our top three tracks from Joe Jazz are Our favorite song from Joe Jazz has got to be Sesh One foot on the ground are we pushing Two trucks on the ground with the bushes Four wheels roaming around in my hoodie If the sun by the Sesh then you know we all goody One foot on the right, ground are we pushing I like Two it. trucks on the you ground know, with the bushes you pick push. Four wheels on the ground with the bushes If we ride by the Sesh then you know we all goody uh, He got flows and shit you ride around, think about nothing. That made me think about something. I, I'm not sure what though. <laughs> uh, I can't honestly pick another one that I like more than this. It's just super relatable. He's just talking about session with the homies. Not session like smoking, session like skating, man. This man is a heavy skater as skateboard fans here at Raven Skull. It's just the funnest song to chill and cruise around to. He fills it with so many inside references to skateboarding culture in terms that you just don't hear in a lot of like rap music these days. So it just comes up as super refreshing and just I don't know. It just hits you where it hits you where you feel right in the right in your skate heart. So it, it's instantly one of our favorites. Uh, you should definitely check it out, especially if you're into skateboarding in any way. Our second favorite track from Joe Jazz is gotta be Four Wing Island. It's the title track from his most recent album, and honestly, I think it's the best blend of his style. It's aggressive, it's edgy, it's punky, but it's also super melodic and super soft, and you get the feel. It's just a great experience to listen to. I think it's one of the best representations of everything he can do all up in one track. You definitely check it out. Wings illuminate the sky, never wanna leave this place. Wait, wait, wait. If you ain't fucking with my iron, nigga, fuck about my head. I don't wanna hear you talk. You can stuff it all like ten. Our third pick for top Joe Jazz tracks is Mega Blastoise. I don't even know where to start with this. It's just a crazy time. I think this is where Joe Jazz really hits his stride as far as lyrical content goes, which might sound odd once you hear the song, but it is by far one of the so funniest songs I've heard in a long time. 
it's super satirical. He hits his stride of really just being, showing off his personal character of being a hilarious dude that is also hilarious while rapping. Uh, I just can't help but burst out laughing whenever I hear this song, and I think it's one of the things that makes Joe Jazz Joe Jazz. And if I didn't hear this song, uh, I don't know what I'd do. I'd probably be sad because it's super, super funny and uh, it's great. It's just great. Never blast toys, a nigga not dripping. Never made crack, just Mac in the kitchen. Never come up short, face punch, we ain't no bleed. Avenger time watch, I would piss on your roly. Unless it's polioli, that's the motherfucking homie. Yeah, before I bust a nut, I gotta scream, okie dokie. So, we cannot talk about Joe Jazz without talking about his music videos. They are a prime example of why rappers should direct and be involved in their own music videos. Instead of paying a dude like me to run around with a gimbal and some RGB lights and call it a video. No, Joe is something different. With his main collaborator on these videos being his tripod, he films and edits himself into the colorful world of his imagination. Filled with crazy, wacky, zany characters like Paco, or the Fat Llama, or Sally, his blow-up doll girlfriend. They are incredibly funny, and they are the best way to experience Joe's music as you get a great representation of what he's trying to talk and say to you. You get to see his visuals, you get to see his music, you get to see his merch, you get to see everything that he's all about all in one place. I've seen just about everyone I could possibly find on YouTube, a lot of them a lot more than once, because they're filled with so many wacky, funny moments that keep me just wanting to watch it again, like this one. On stage with crappy dancing, my only fear is staying stagnant. I blame another niggas on the stupid tantrum. Still strangle Richie in my room to sack them. Wanna cruise in the ether. But Joe does not stop there. He takes it one step further, probably two steps further, but we're gonna talk about this one first. We're talking about merch, we're talking about clothing, we're talking about that drip, we're talking about that fit. fit. Joe is an amazing clothing designer and he's been doing it for like five, six, seven years or something. An incredibly long time, he's been running his Fat Llama brand that is his, basically his face as the merch. It's great. He makes sweaters, he makes shirts, he makes hats, he makes cassettes, he makes CDs, he makes basically anything he can manage to print the Fat Llama's face on. It's pretty crazy. His merch is super colorful, super fun, and honestly pretty stylish if you do it right. And Joe is a perfect example of this. He rocks his own merch and just what everything he does online, and it looks great. It's like one of the biggest compliments I always hear said about Joe Jazz. It's like, oh, dude, what's he wearing? What's that? His fit is fire. And TBH, to be honest, I gotta admit, I'm pretty tempted to cop this FL Fat Llamas polo shirt. It's kind of fire. He sells his merch at the countless pop-up shops and shows that he organizes himself. This man is a true pillar of his community, never sitting back and waiting for an opportunity to be presented to him. I can't count how many posters I've seen that he's created for different pop-up shops or shows that he's done. It, there's too many to count out there. I'll put some of them up here, but it, it's, it's everywhere. This man is a pillar of his community and uh, is a role model that we should all look up to for being a great person and just being super nice because he puts these shows on and brings all the homies out, brings everyone out, gives everyone else a platform, not just himself. Uh, Joe, we respect everything you do. Uh, keep doing you. We, you. You're the best. That was awkward. I kind of lost. I trailed off, and now I'm just rambling. <sighs> to wrap up, now with the endorsement of Andrews Puck, we can definitely predict Joe to be one of the best things coming up, rising to the ranks of alternative hip-hop, hopefully to one day be standing beside his idols on stage, Tyler the Creator, Brockhampton, Earl Sweatshirt. He's coming for you guys. Joe, we love you. Uh, it was a great time having you on the show. Keep up the good work. We're proud of you. You're doing crazy shit. If you haven't seen Joe's 5W's interview show episode, go down into the link down in the description. Check it out. It's a great time. Uh, we talk about music. We talk about life. We just have a great time. We shoot the shit. He makes a million jokes. I laugh at all of the jokes. It's a great time. Uh, one of my favorite episodes we've done. Uh, go check that out. Be sure to follow Joe on IG or sub to him on YouTube to stay up to date as those are the best platforms to keep up to date with this man's doing. Well, that has been On The Pulse. Our picks for hidden gems and underrated marvels in arts and entertainment. We keep our eyes open so you don't have to. Leave a like, drop a suggestion for the next video, and stay subscribed if you're not already. We got a lot more content coming for you. It's a good time, it's fun, we're riding. Yeah, I don't know, I'm doing a lot of hand gestures today. Well, I've been your host, Reese Setter, and for Raven Skull TV, your source for all things music, people, and culture. I will see you next time.